when you get in a place of offense and unforgiveness, it's like a tumor. It's like a tumor of unforgiveness. You can act like you, you don't have it, but everywhere you go, everybody else sees it. You look like the hunchback of Notre Dame, but you're at, holding your Bible, praise the Lord. And when you get the tumor of unforgiveness, here's the reason why people say they can't forgive. I can't forgive and get rid of this. And, you know, it's big and it's, it's, it's uncomfortable and it's sore. Ow. And sometimes when people touch that part of your life, you overreact because it's so sensitive and your children touched it and it wasn't what they did. It's that's been there and it's gotten infected. And every, every time somebody does something, you, you're fighting with your husband, but it's not about that argument. It's about that. They touch that. You're fighting with your children, but they touch that. So why don't you go on and get rid of this one? And if they do it again, you'll get it again. But get rid of that one. You sure don't want four or five or six of these and somebody else. You got them in your knees and everywhere else. You need to go to Jericho. I conclude with this. 1993, Delta Force, United States Army in East Africa, a place called Somalia. It was the biggest gunfight since Vietnam. They were going in to nab a drug lord. And suddenly the Black Hawk helicopter that they were going in on was shot with a ground-to-air missile. Our soldiers were killed, many of them, and their bodies were dragged through the streets, the opposing army screaming and celebrating. They sent in a team to recover those bodies and the men that might have survived, and they became under tremendous fire. Hundreds and hundreds outnumbered, thousands outnumbered and gunfire coming, AK-47s from every direction. If you've seen the movie Black Hawk Down, this is the story I'm talking about. In the book, they tell about being pinned into a building and gunfire coming from every direction. And the soldier in charge, the captain, turns to a lieutenant and he says, get in the truck. We've got to get out of here. Get in the truck and drive. And the response of the lieutenant is, but captain, I'm shot. And, and, and the, 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 the answer of the captain is a classic. He said, everybody's shot. Shut up, get in the truck, and drive. We're all wounded. We're all offended. We've all been shot. We've all had somebody do something to us. Shut up, meaning don't whine. Don't complain. Quit feeling sorry for yourself. Enough victimization. Get over it. We're all bleeding. We all got bullet holes. We all have been wounded. Stay sweet. Go to Jericho. If you don't know where to go, I'll tell you where to drive that truck to. Go to Jericho. Stay sweet. Stay kind. People rip you off. People steal from you. People do you wrong. Don't get bitter. Don't get angry. Don't get hate-filled. Go to Jericho. Watch God if you'll stay sweet. Watch God. Watch him defend you. Watch him bring revenge, vengeance like you cannot imagine. When you do the right thing, the struggle is real, but so is the blessing.